Well, good morning. You all know my name now, Paul. And I want to share just a brief testimony that some of you have heard already, but happened to me late June last year when I had my first major experience in a hospital. Last year would have likely have been my last had it not been for modern medicine. <clears throat> and I'm very grateful for, for, for what doctors can do for us, the specialists. <clears throat> Excuse me. Well, my cardiologist had me sent quickly down to Newcastle Private. And not knowing whether he could help me or not, <clears throat> he had me, the surgeon booked in for the next morning. And the, he wasn't able to assist me, the damage was more than that. And so the, the senior nursing staff, they were amazed that I could get in there so quickly and everything was lined up just to be done what needed to be done. All right, they'd prepped me for surgery. I was in the little anti-theatre room by myself. I was by my self, yes. <clears throat> and not being very brave at having my chest about to be cut open, I was praising God, praising God for all that I was worth. And while I was doing that, um, this is when the experience happened. My eyes were closed. I was looking to the heavens at the ceiling and praising God. And I felt the strong hand take hold of my hand physically like I've got hold of this mic. And a voice spoke into my ear and it said, your time is not yet. So I praised God for that. And I thought that was going to be it. But the next thing I discovered, I had this like big heat lamp traveling up and down over my body. And I said, Lord, that's got to be the Holy Spirit. He was still holding my hand. Anyway, we went through surgery, through recovery and in intensive care. And in the afternoon there, the male nurse that cared for me, guess what? He was a Seventh-day Adventist. Wow. And he had been a minister in his earlier life as well in our church. And he said to me as we were talking and got to discover who we each were, he said, Paul, you won't know this, but your body was glowing. <laughs> you know... When you go through surgery like that, you feel like death warmed up and you have absolutely no energy whatsoever because it's all going to your healing. But to know that God is with you, and I just want to share a verse. It's Isaiah 41.10. Fear not, don't be anxious, for I am with you. Be not dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you, yea, I will help you. I will uphold you with my righteous Praise God. Amen. Thank you. Thank you. Praise the Lord.